nothing, there'll never be no comparison. You're live on the show, sit back and have a listen. Alright, you hear the music in the background. Oh, y'all know. Oh, it's about to get lit. It's about to get lively in here right now. Oh, this is a video to all you Holly Home supporters. Oh, yeah. But shout out to my girl, Alicia Miller. Shout out to Lakeisha. Shout out to the regulars, LaBelle, King, all you do. Shout out to y'all. It's a lot of y'all we not talking to. No, we talking about the, 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 these newfound Holly Home supporters. Oh, we talking about y'all. These extreme, okay, extremists. Like, they just get crazy when you criticize. Okay, so listen. Let me ask y'all a question, okay? Because I searched. Oh, oh, the coach searched. Where were you guys two years ago when Holly Holm knocked out Ronda Rousey? Oh, you were right there watching the fight probably. But where were you when Holly Holm for 14 days, nobody brought this girl up on an interview to discuss and we're not talking about any old media outlet. No, we're not talking about that. I'm talking about ESPN, the biggest sports outlet. Where, did you guys say anything? Was there an outrage about that? Oh, but the coach did. I called ESPN for 14 days straight asking, why isn't Holly Holm on the show? I'm going to start having people boycott your sponsors if you do not get this girl on the show because this is the biggest upset one in women's MMA history. And you guys... You guys don't want to come. See, the coach called for 14 straight days. Me, Ticket TV, Town Business, Jay Sewell, and the 1LVZ. We called ESPN. I mean, I, I, all of us did. And we called ESPN nonstop. But see, he go with a lot of you guys that you like to type in the comment section. Because, see, that's all y'all do is type in the comment section. See, y'all ain't about no action. I noticed that about a lot of y'all. Not everybody. I mean, shout out to you, Alicia. Shout out to you, Lakeisha, LaBelle, King, Rhino. It's a lot of y'all that we go back and forth. We talk a lot. Not y'all. Not the people that you come here and you're, you know, you pretty much, you're objective. You don't agree with everything. And you can get him, you can get him out behind. But at the end of the day, it's still mutual respect. I'm not talking about y'all. Okay? Not you, MJ. It's a lot of y'all. Light Hawk. So don't think I'm talking to y'all. But you guys know who I'm talking to sometimes. They come in and they just look and they always got something to say. But you know what? These guys won't even make a video. You ain't even make a video defending Holly Holm. Where your videos at? None. Not alone. Put a phone call. I even put the number to ESPN. On, on, I put the number on the screen. How many, how many people actually called that number? Okay, how many people did it? You want to know what some of you guys did? Some of you, some of you dudes that you run around here, you always, oh, but you shouldn't say that. Ain't none of y'all make a phone call on Holly Home behalf. Please. I'm finna flame roast y'all. See, you dudes, shut up. Shut up. And then, if you want to say I'm trashing Holly Home, make a video. And I want you to make a video defending your position so I can analyze and criticize what you say. So I can analyze your position and see if I can see in your soul. But see, you know why you won't make a video? You know why you will not make a video defending your position? You won't do it because you don't have the attributes to make a video. You won't make a video because you, deep down, you're afraid to make a video. Because you don't want to let people know how stupid you really sound. That's what it is. You don't want to let people know how stupid you really sound, so you're not going to make a video. You're not. And you can't, you don't have any confidence to put yourself on camera. That's why you hide behind typing. See, shout out to people that'll make a video. Shout out to people that'll actually let their true selves. It's a lot of people that come to my channel that they have no problem doing anything. They have no problem standing up for something. I mean, you got OJ Nakmeezy. You got MJ. We disagree on a lot of stuff, but at least she do have the common sense to come on, articulate what she want, light halt do. It's a lot of people that they'll come on and make objective things, and they don't even agree most of the time. See, that's the thing. But you guys, I'm talking about you guys, you fanatics. Okay, you ones that if, if Holly Holm pissed in your face, you'll probably wash it like it was soap. You guys, I'm talking about y'all. Oh, I'm talking to y'all. Not one video. Not one video. And I'd Google, a hey, videos in defense of Holly Holm. I Googled that. Guess what? Guess, guess who Guess who pop up? My channel do. A couple of LDBC channels pop up. But for you guys in the comments, no, y'all ain't doing nothing. Y'all ain't doing nothing but typing. Hell, I can't say you talking because you won't get on video and make a video. 
You know, and I'm going to tell you something. I collabed last night with Lakeisha. <laughs> and she was really uncomfortable in the beginning. But you know what? At least, at least, at least she got enough nerve to, to put herself on camera, articulate her points in front of a live audience, okay? See, a lot of you guys coming in with this, oh, you're just trashing, Holly. Make a video. Make a video or shut up. But I still need to know where are your videos in response in defense of Holly Holm. Did you make a phone call to ESPN when I put the number up on the screen? Did you do that? Probably. Probably not. I can tell you now a lot of y'all, y'all, uh, many of y'all don't even bust a grape. Many of y'all, this is your comfort zone. Your computer is your comfort zone. That's what you do. Like you put yourself behind your computer screen and that's it, you hide. And then you think somebody got to, you know, somebody's supposed to take you seriously? Are you serious? I can't even take you seriously when you say, oh, well, every video you're trashing, but I got 25 videos defending Holly Holm. I called ESPN for 14 days. I mean, tell the truth. You're not making a video because you're afraid to make a video. Because you're afraid of people might, what, what they going to think about how you talk. I already know. Y'all know why I don't really care? You know why I don't care? Because... I'm comfortable in my own skin. I operate in my own skin every day. I com I'm comfortable. So that means I say what I think. Not with somebody probing me to think. I don't have a key in my back. I, well, Coach, you're not trying to build your channel? Absolutely not. I'm going to just come on here because I'm a guy. I'm a fan. I'm not a professional journalist. I try the best I can to be fair. But, it, but honestly, I'm biased. I come on here and I tell y'all I'm biased. Why do you think calling me biased? Do you think that that's going to make me upset? Not really. It's not because I am biased. I tell you that I'm biased. Who am I biased? Valentina Shevchenko. If you want to talk bad about Valentina, I can't join you. I'm not going to join in on a conversation because I'm biased. <laughs> I'm biased towards Chris Cyborg. I'm biased towards Mari Raynaud. And now I got a Tanya Evinger bias. I mean, why? If you're going to talk bad about Tanya Evinger, guess what? I can't join you in the conversation. Danielle Taylor, I'm biased. Okay, I, I do still have an Amanda Nunes bias. Even though she pulled out of this fight. But see, here go the thing. When I have a bias with a fighter, what well, that means if I like a fighter, that don't mean I co-sign everything they do. I ain't finna co-sign everything they do. Why? See, that's the difference between you and me. You guys, you'll co-sign everything your favorite fighter do. You'll co-sign it, and if somebody else call it out, then you get mad. What you mad for? Make a video, articulate your points. Make a video or shut up. See, that's the thing. Don't come at me. And then, you know, for some of y'all that's got so much to say, you know you had a perfect opportunity. You had the opportunity. I was on live two nights in a row. I mean, I seen Lavelle. Lavelle pretty much told me what he thought. He didn't agree with a lot of stuff. But you know what? At least Lavelle had enough like guts to say, Coach, I disagree. And he did it live. I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot of y'all that came on live, but it's amazing how some of you guys, you see, you know you know I'm going live, but you won't come on to say nothing because you know why? Because you know you'll get destroyed on some of the stuff. I'm not right about everything. I've been wrong a whole lot of times, but at least I got enough nerve to come on here and put myself on camera. Where your videos at defending Holly Home? Where, where, where they at? I want y'all to tell me. Because me, I have defended Holly more than any other YouTube channel on YouTube. And I've already done the research. So stop. Make a video and, and get back with me. I'm done.